welcome to Vocals in the Key of D. It's me again, Denise, and we are going to be chatting about what you can eat before a vocal performance or before you go on stage to sing anything. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, as I spoke about it previously, we spoke last week very much around what you shouldn't eat. So the stuff that definitely will affect your vocal cords and not be very nice for you. This time around, we're going to look at what you can eat. Very, very interesting. So uh, it's a little bit short, shorter than the things you can't eat, but it definitely is helpful. So the first thing that you can eat is actually fresh fruit. Try not to eat your citrus fruit, um, you know, on the day. But, and there's some controversy with regards to bananas, but bananas actually um, really good to eat on the day because it just contains the right amount of sugar and energy that you need and it coats your vocal cords really, really nicely um, with not too much sugar. Um, and especially if your vocals are dry, you, you can always use banana to try and help uh, soothe the, the, the throat naturally, which is really good, but again, whole fruits, um, try not to do the juices. The juices actually just go into your bloodstream because um, it's pretty much juice and water. That's sweet and water. That's all it is. But eating actual fruits helps you um, with fiber, your fiber intake um, and all the vitamins and minerals and all the good stuff actually get absorbed into, into the body if you actually eat it whole. So that's a great tip. Fresh fruits in the morning. Um, you can also do chicken. Don't go for the fatty parts of the chicken. But chicken is a really good option because chicken is your protein, lasts longer, it's a really good source of energy. It'll keep your vocal cords from being overwhelmed with fatty foods. You know, so try and go for the chicken. Um, that is probably your best bet. It's dry, more dry than your normal meats without the fat, etc. Next one is fish. So just like chicken, fish is actually really a lean source. So there's not a lot of fat in fish. It's really, really good for you. And um, there's less oil um, when frying it, but you know, you can always put it into an air fryer or in the oven to bake instead of frying it in some oil. Um, but having this with a side of fresh veggies for lunch is possibly your best bet on a vocal, um, before vocal performance. Uh, it doesn't sound too bad to me. I mean, you know, that sounds like quite a treat. Vitamin A. So vitamin A is really, really important. It keeps your mucous membranes nice and healthy. Vitamin A is actually found in your yellow veggies. So your squash, um, your yellow fruits, your sweet potato, um, mangoes, melons, peaches will give you your vitamin A, which is really, really good. You can also get your, your vitamin A as well as um, your protein from eggs and meat. So nice combination to go there. Vitamin A is definitely a must have on the day of your vocal performance. Nuts. Who would have known? Nuts are a really, really good snack to have. So, so you singers out there that maybe just feel a little bit nibbly before the show, you can always have a couple of nuts. Try not to do the salty nuts or you can do lightly salted because remember salt actually dehydrates you. And when you have your nuts, you need to have your room temperature water, which brings me to my next one. Room temperature water. Yes, some of us are like, oh, why room temperature? It's like horrible. But as I said last week, sometimes just like, you know, um, when you put something cold on your leg or, or your muscles are not warmed up properly, your muscles are not warmed up properly um, and they're cold, they can actually, you can actually strain them. And that's exactly what cold water does to your vocal cords. It uh, gives it a little bit of a shock and then it sort of spasms and you shouldn't have that, especially when you have just warmed up. Um, you don't wanna go and undo all the warmer. So it's really, really good to stay hydrated with room temperature water. Try not to make it hot water. You could possibly do the warm water, but try not to make it hot water because obviously you don't wanna burn your throat either, which can cause pain and then frustration. So room temperature water is critical. So here's a good one. Apparently peanut butter is really good as well. So obviously your natural peanut butter, don't go for, um, you know, these uh, really hectic modified peanut butters with a whole bunch of sugar and etc in it. Um, try and go for your wholesome um, peanut butter. 
that'll actually help you um, with actually coating your, your vocal cords quite nicely without any added sugar. You can, if you would like to, put a little bit of um, banana with some peanut butter on a sandwich and perhaps some jelly for those that are out there in the, in the American USA states. We call it jam. Um, but yes, you can possibly do that. Have a bit of a, a nice peanut butter banana jam sandwich in the morning is also quite good for you. Um, not too much sugar, just the right amounts of sugar, a little bit of protein, vitamins, etc., which is really awesome. Honey, of course. So honey, again, is really important. You can put a little bit of honey in, a warm, in warm water just to sort of coat your vocal cords, especially if you've been a little bit sick or if it's a little bit dry. Um, again, a very natural source of honey um, that helps you to vo coat your vocal cords so that you are able to sing really well. But please don't go crazy. Um, don't go eat teaspoonfuls of it um, because that's possibly going to increase your sugar intake, which you don't want to do. Um, so yes, it's very good. It's an antibacterial, it's an antimicrobial, um, which is awesome for you. So yes, any dehydration, a little bit of honey in some warm water, warm water, and Bob Jungle. Last but not least, something that I don't particularly enjoy, but you might enjoy it, is uh, licorice root. Now, uh, we all know that there is a sweet licorice, yes, but some of those licorice sweets have way, way too much sugar in for our vocal uh, performance, you know, to have before our vocal performance. So licorice root tea, you can perhaps have tea um, or you can boil some licorice root in some water with other items. You can actually look for some kind of recipe on, on uh, Google. But apparently licorice is really, really good for, again, coating your vocal cords and it also acts as um, it prevents irritation um, in your muc it prevents irritation in your mucous membranes which is really awesome so it gives your your vocal ability a lot more flexibility and, and also enhances what you already do um, it's really funny because even with me if I eat something that's you know gonna affect my singing mentally I know it's gonna affect my singing and it does um, so, so I really think if you're drinking, eating the right stuff, you'll feel a lot more confident, you'll feel healthy, you'll feel like the get-go, and you'll do an immaculate job in saying all of that. I hope that this helps you today. So um, you can take a look at this before any vocal performance and get yourself ready for the day. Yes, and that is it. That is it from me, vocals in the key of D. We will see you next week.